All right, race fans, we are mere days away from lights out in Bahrain, which means it is the start of the 2023 Formula One season. I'm particularly excited this year because I'll be watching every race with the best way to watch motorsports on the planet, which is the multi-viewer for F1 app. Now, this year, the developers have kindly provided an API. And in response to that API, I've built a Python package and a company command line interface. They'll make it easier for you to control all the players that you have set up on your rig. From the commentary track, the data channel, the driver tracker, and all these driver feeds. And I'll be controlling them all through this stream deck that will use the command line interface to give me the power to control my own race experience. Here we have the commentary track up. I'm gonna go ahead and kick off the race by hitting the pause button and then sync up all the players by using the sync button. I understand that something is about to happen soon, so I will fast forward a couple times to advance the race. I can also control going in reverse, hitting pause and manipulating the video, all while making sure all the driver feeds are synced up with the race and oh looks like we have a bit of an off it looks like daniel ricardo was involved in a shunt with kevin magnuson looks like a little punch there so we can go ahead and get a pause on this video rock it back even closer to see the exact moment of contact Oof, it's a little bit of a bump there from daniel ricardo to k mag well, let's get a better look at what exactly happened by switching to our driver feeds. We're gonna sync everything up, we're gonna pause it right quick, and then switch to a new menu to pick one of our driver feeds and replace it with Daniel Ricardo. We'll rock back, un unpause, resync all the players, make Daniel Ricardo's view bigger. There we can see the exact moment we made contact. It's just a tiny tap, that was enough to send Mr. Magnuson off. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the view was like for KMag. Do that by switching from the windows to the Kevin Magnuson feed. We'll go ahead and make his feed bigger. And what we can do is hear what the sound is like from his car specifically. Maybe pick up some radio on the dangerous crack. Sorry guys, I'm out, I've got a massive yep. push in yep. someone. Yep, that guy does not sound pleased. Let's go ahead and show you how the CLI works. Here I have my terminal open, and once I pip install MVF1, I have the MVF1-CLI command. We can list all the players that are currently playing, and we can manipulate them either by passing in the title or the ID. In this case, we'll fast forward our commentary track 300 seconds. We can sync all our players to that commentary track using player sync. And we can change our data channel to switch streams to Sergio Perez using the PER three letter acronym that appears on his timesheet. To have Stream Deck make use of this command line interface, simply open your configuration software of choice, pick the button, and use the mvf1-cli commands that you type in the terminal as the command for the button. And if you want to get even more wild with your multi-viewer 4 F1 manipulation, a full Python library is available. Full documentation is at mvf1.readthedocs.io. I want to send a huge, huge shout out to the developers for Multiviewer for F1. They have a ton of brand new features out and you can find it at multiviewer.app. That's multiviewer.app for the best way to watch Formula One.